All right, this is going to be a probably phone quality video, small rant, and why we haven't got the truck out. Had one of these tear, we're right around the edge. So this wall valve's crap. That's why we ain't got the truck out. I'm going to set this down for the rest of this because I can't hold it and do this too. I ain't that talented. I was looking at buying another ball of foul from VS Racing and I just like, I couldn't see spending $60 on another one. Uh, with the amount of money and the parts that we put into this, I just like, you know what, it's time to put good stuff on it. So I went around, looked around. I was going to go with all tile stuff, but I had a couple people kind of persuade me to, to go with Turbo Smart. So I ordered two Turbo Smart 50 millimeter race port wall valves. I ordered two 45 hypergate waste gates, spring kits for all of it, just to be safe. Of course, the E Street boost controller and another Mac valve to go with the controller, so I have one for each turbo and not been teed off of one Mac valve. Uh, the oil pressure regulator, the fittings for it, got all that. Okay. Now I split it up to save a little money, and we ended up going with a guy on Amazon, and I kind of went with him because I bought from him before. I've never had any issues from this seller, third party seller. But he kind of screwed me. We got it for $268 versus $311, $329 where it was. I've seen it as high as $388 in some places for this boost controller. Supposedly he had it. Showed nine in stock. So I ordered it. Six days later, I get the deal where Amazon had canceled the order just out of the blue. Call them, find out, canceled the fucking order. He emails me like 30 minutes after I talk to them, say, well, order's canceled, I refunded, I, I, I just don't, I don't have it. Okay, you waited six days to tell me that. So we searched around and I found a seller on eBay that I bought from and actually got it for, uh, what was it, 288 from him. Guy I bought from five or six times, not an issue, it's already shipped, it's on its way. Uh, we kind of had a laugh in the email and I told him what went on and he said a lot of these guys are there, third party guys will actually, you'll order it through them but they'll get paid and then they'll turn around and buy it and have it drop shipped from the vendor. And that brings me to the second part of this issue. I ordered all the rest of that shit through Jegs. Okay, before I went on, everything said drop shipped from Turbo Smart, usually within 24 hours. I emailed Turbo Smart and I asked him at sales, with all the part numbers, how many do you have all this in stock over at Turbo Smart USA in California? Scout Eva emailed me back and said, yes, we have all those. So I said, okay, I'm placing an order with Jags right now. As soon as I get this email sent, I'm going to place the order with them. Once Jags got the order, Jags didn't notify me of shit. Wastegates came, one blow off valve came, the other one's back ordered, and it's going to be one to two weeks according to Turbo Smart because they have to get it from Australia. Now, when I called to ask him what was going on, how long it would be, they answer the phone promptly, and the guy goes into this spiel about how I should just return the one I got, why do I need the one with the tile flange, and how I need to return that because it's a gen this, and you need to go with this next gen, and they're about the same money. Well, they're not. These are 265 I'll show you. This is a 50 millimeter race port. Turbo Smart. Let me get the O-ring so I don't lose it, son bitch. Turbo Smart, race port, 50 millimeter. Blow off valve. Blue. One thing I don't like is it's 16th NPT and an eighth inch. That kind of burnt me. But I have to have the tile flange because that's the way the VS Racings are and I'm not cutting this damn Y pipe up and redoing it for a blow off valve. Okay? 
Well, he goes into this big spiel trying to sell somebody. This is a Gen 5, and uh, I need to, like, y'all to return that, and we'll get the money back, and uh, you can buy a Gen 6, two Gen 6s, and this and that. I'm like, I said, you told me you had the shit in stock, but you don't. It's raining like a cow pissing on a flat rock. Three days straight again. Anyway... He said, well, it, it's on back order. It's got to come from Australia. You know, we'll get it to you as soon as we can. I'm like, that ain't going to work. I need a time frame, bud. You've already got my goddamn money. You were Jags one. Somebody needs to talk to me. I said, Ben's, I've sat on hold and had to listen to the recorder. Blah, 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 blah. Come get your voice. Jags! For 45 minutes once, over 30 minutes, second time, nobody answered the phone. So, Jags. You can kiss my ass. I ain't your service after the sale. You can't email you. You can't do nothing. You gotta go through 900 million fucking questions on your phone prompts. You can go to hell. I ain't spending no more money with Jake. I'll go back to spending with Summit. That's where I used to spend all my money anyway. Besides Summit, anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 dollars cheaper on the same damn thing anyway. And they answer the damn phone anyway. So I emailed this gal and I sent her a copy of the email where she told me she had all the shit there. She's like so apologetic, very nice. She said, we've got stuff on order. It's in with it from Australia. It should be here within a week. But she said, I don't hold me to it. She said, but we should have it to you in no longer than two weeks. Because uh, some of this Turbo Smart stuff they quit making it. It's discontinued, so it's whatever stock they've got, and I feel that might be what this is. Uh, and pretty much, the thing is, if they take too long to do it, you can't return something after you've had it for a month while you're waiting. And trust me, I'll make somebody eat this shit if they can't get me this other blow-off out. And I told him, I said, you got one in black? I don't care at this point. I'll take the anodized lid off that one and paint the some bitch black or whatever. They mismatch. I don't care. Can you get it to me? We don't have any of them in any color. I'm like, okay. So I'm waiting on a blow off valve. I'm waiting on the boost controller because of a jackass Amazon seller. But we have one blow off valve. I got both gates sitting over there on the box. They did come. The 245 hyper gate. Waste gates in blue. I've got the other. I ain't gonna pull it out because it's a pain in the ass. I put the fittings in it and put it back there. But there's the other little blue Turbo Smart Mac valve. So, and I went with Turbo Smart because their voltage or wattage or whatever on it is a little different than the cheapy 35, and I ain't buying a $35 Mac valve again, or I just bought another VS Racing. Wall valve for $60. Now, their wastegates will work flawless, but I ain't giving them full credit because I put tile diaphragms and tile springs in them. And the only thing I can really see different is the guide on the valve inside itself, where like tile uses, I believe, a bronze guide, and this is like a powdered metal guide. But they work, they've been working flawlessly what little bit I've actually had to use them because they did open on that little trip to the gas station and back in that video on three pounds the springs that's in these are three pounds and both gates open there's exhaust, a little bit of exhaust residue in the pipes and I could I could hear them out the window when this two inch pipe started screaming from the wastegate open uh, damn it's raining I'm fed up with fucking rain I'm so sick of it. The humidity is like you can cut the air with a knife. I got the dehumidifier running again out here with the truck sitting out here. And, but that's what we're waiting on. Or I'd have had the truck out and had video of it. I wanted to get it out for July weekend. But that ain't going to happen. So, anyway... 
that's where we're at. I'm going to change the steering wheel so I can move my buttons closer to the edge of the wheel. And that green one, the leather wrap starting to come off of it. And I just don't feel like screwing with it. And then uh, we'll go from there. I just thought I'd throw something up so everybody know what's going on. For those of you that watch my videos and, and pay attention to what's going on and, and like the little truck and all that, to me, it's my I call, I've always called this my junky little truck. I know it's not junky per se, but it's that's what it's always been to me is my junky little truck, my hobby, my my kryptonite. That's why I call the truck kryptonite. So it ain't got nothing about being like Superman or or inflicting damage on somebody else's. Thing. It, it's my kryptonite. So, got to put a new tire on the back of the wife's little 900 Vulcan, pick the nail up, we had to go get it and bring it home on a trailer. Well, it wasn't a nail, it was a damn bolt, like a 3 8 bolt. And then uh, it was too big, I couldn't plug the hole and so I just, I took the plug kit with me just in case. And, it was too big to plug, and when she run it flat, I don't know if the bolt poking through hit the stem, or if that damn tire's got a tube in it, or what, but they messed the stem up, you put air in it, and air pour out the goddamn valve stem as fast as they go in, out where it went through the wheel, and so I just put it on a trailer and brought it home, I got it pulled off, I got a tire ordered for it, it takes a 170-80-15, so, I ordered a new Pirelli tire for it, and uh, as soon as it gets here, I'll pop it down, take it off, and we'll see if we got to have a tube. I'll get a tube, and if it hurt the liner around the spokes, whatever, we'll get it all fixed. If I have to, I'll just buy another goddamn wheel for it, but she loves riding her bike. Life ain't no bigger in a minute, man, but she on that motorcycle and go. You can hear her head as big as I am. So, and all of our kids are your head. But, as soon as all this shit gets here, I'm waiting on the oil pressure regulator and the little fitting package. I had to order separate. And, uh, then I had to order 216 pipe to the push lock, French push lock. So, it and the oil, the fittings are coming from Motion Raceworks. I got a new distribution block coming from them because the Viair block I'm using for oil just wants to keep weeping. The goddamn pipe threads are bigger than the fittings. and I've tried stainless fittings, aluminum fittings, and just the thread. you got to gob so much Teflon tape on it, and then they still go in, they leak. They'll quit leaking for a little bit, and then they'll leak, start leaking, weeping again. So we're going to change that. I'm going to put an electric oil temperature gauge in it to the capillary tube one because I've... I had to drill that block out, drill it, re-tap it to put that long ass capillary tube in it and that big fitting that the other one screws into. I had to tap it at the 3 8 pipe. So we're going to change that and uh, that's about it. And uh, I'm contemplating taking my charge tubes, my hat, the spacer, the block, the merge pipe, all that over and having a friend of my son's does hydro dipping there at his house. He's really good at it. I'm thinking about putting some kind of pattern, skull pattern. Or, uh, I found one I like that says, hear no speak, no see no evil with skulls and smoke wisping and that I might do it in. Uh, clear it, put it back on. I'd like to do the valve covers too, but I think the heat and the headers only being like three quarters of an inch away would end up cooking it. So, anyhow, that's all that's going on, everybody. Uh, I'm going to go back inside, give me something to eat, and uh, wait for the wife to get home. And no grandson today with mommy till Friday. So, he already called me this morning saying, Papa, come get me. I want to come back to your house. So. That's it. Everybody stay safe. God bless. And as soon as I get these damn parts, we'll get out here. Get them on it. And I'm going to get it out. And I'm going to, in the words of somebody else that I know and love their channel, 
we're going to thrash and beat on this thing a little bit later.